guys ready for this? Here we go. Hello, and welcome to the Dread West Controversy. Uh, all right, now this is an important video. I've been putting it off for a while. One of the reasons why I wanted to, to do this now is because I got a really great question about it. Hey, my name is Abby, and I'm considering getting dreads, and I've been reading a lot about using dread wax versus not using it, and I was just wondering if you could tell me the advantages and the disadvantages to using dread wax. Thanks, Abby, for your question. I'm going to try to cover all the advantages and the disadvantages of using dread wax um, the right way and some of the rumors that have resulted because people have used it the wrong way um, quite a bit, all right? And uh, as we'll see, it's pretty easy to misuse it. And that's one of the main problems. Before I, I go much further, I want to tell you that all of my thoughts on this subject are completely unbiased. Uh, I've used wax to start my dreads twice, and uh, I know that if I needed to start my dreads again, I would definitely choose to use wax. I know it works. I mean, I do know for like nine years now. People have been using it and freaking out. Freaking out about how fast their dreads lock. And they send pictures and they're like, look at this, these are only three months old, da 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 I love your stuff. It's not like I can come at this like, well, I don't really know, you know, maybe wax is beneficial or not. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal because I think the people that say wax, they're pretty biased too. Anyway, let's jump back. The first rumor, that we should talk about? Well, there's two parts to it. You have to use wax to lock up your hair or wax prevents the hair from locking. Okay, now both of these are pretty popular. Neither of them are true. So let's talk about how wax works. And I think that'll kind of clarify some of this a little bit. All right, wax works by keeping the hair together when you compress it, okay? The natural dreading process is for the knots to tighten and the hair to get used to being in the knots. Just like hair in a braid gets used to being in a braid. You know, you put your hair in, a, in all braids, I don't know if you've ever done that. I've never done that. Um, anyway, okay, maybe I did. So you wash it in the braid, and then you take it out, and it's all curly and wavy like a braid. And that's because it's getting used to that shape. All right, well, the hair gets used to knots exactly the same way. And over time, it gets so used to them that it can knot again tighter. You tighten your knots and you compress the dread by palm rolling. Here we go, palm rolling. Uh, and by sleeping on them, okay? You crunch them down, it gets all knotted and stuff, and they sit there for a little while, okay? And then they're used to it and they're ready to crunch down and get tighter. And they sit there and they get used to it and they crunch down and they get even tighter. And that's how you end up with these ridiculously tight rope-like dreads. That, uh, that everybody wants, that's a mature dread. Which is usually what you're going for when you're growing dreads. Wax helps by preventing the hair from losing the progress while it's getting used to the knot, all right? If it is sitting there and you take a shower and all the, you know everything opens back up again, then you're starting all over, pretty much. Or not quite all over. Not quite all over. Quite all over. Quite all over. I mean, eventually, you know, it can still tighten, but it's gonna take a lot longer because you've lost that progress. When you have wax in the hair, it holds that progress. So it allows you to squeeze it down when you palm roll, and then it kind of stays there. And it opens up a little bit. And it opens up a little bit. But the majority of the progress that you've made when you tighten them down, you get to keep that. And that's the difference. That's why wax helps the dreads mature faster. Another rumor that you'll hear that's kind of related to this is that wax works like glue, okay? It sticks the hair together and the hair, the dreads can't mature. Well, that's completely bullshit. I mean, there might be some wax that works that way. If there were, yeah, it wouldn't work, that's true. If you put glue in your dreads, you're not, it's not gonna lock up. Glue sticks the hair together and when you compress it, it doesn't do anything, all right? So then when the glue finally comes out, so do the dreads, because the knots never tightened. The other rumor uh, that I mentioned where wax prevents the hair from dreading, some wax does. Not good wax, but a lot of the stuff out there that you'll find in the store is full of petroleum, and they call it dread wax. It says, you know, contains 100% pure beeswax. Yeah, yeah, I bet it does. It has like two grams in like this big jar, you know? Unfortunately, the rest of it is petroleum. It's petroleum. And petroleum is a lubricant. So you can imagine, if you put it on your dreads and you tighten them down, it's gonna make them open back up nice and quick, like even faster than they would on their own. If you end up with petroleum in your dreads, just wash it out real good and, and get some good wax in there. We have a lot of people that 
try the petroleum stuff first, and then they're like, can I save my dreads, Johnny Clean? And I'm like, yeah, man, you can save them. And they do, and it's great, so whatever. Don't worry, it's all good. I actually got that question to a guy. Okay, that guy right there. Yeah, that's what he's asking. The last thing I want to mention there is your hair type. Your hair type determines how hard it is for your hair to lock. Some hair is more resistant to tightening, okay? Really, really straight, coarse hair is gonna be the hardest. Think of like Asian hair, okay? Each strand is really big and really straight. So to get it to relax into a knot is gonna be much harder than if your hair was really, really fine and really kinky and curly already. Really, really fine and really kinky. And really kinky. And that's why some people have a harder time. The good news is the wax gives it that extra hold so that it's gonna knot and it's, it's gonna become dreads. You know, instead of being mature in like maybe four months, it'll take six months or eight months, maybe even a full year, you know, but you're gonna get dreads and it's not like a, you know, if thing. It's a when thing. Uh, rumor number two, the more wax, the better. Not so much. That's definitely not true. And it's caused people a lot of problems. People heard that dread wax made dreads lock faster and smoother. And I want my hair to lock up really fast and I want it to be really smooth, so I'm gonna use a ton of wax. They kicked it on like a hippie with a candle fetish. Nah. It doesn't work, but it does make a mess. Any wax can be overused, even if it's uh, the best dread wax available. It still can be overdone and it will still cause you problems when you overdo it. A lot of people, and you know, you'll see them on message boards and stuff like that, They've sworn off dread wax completely. Well, why don't you tell them at the same time why? They've associated overwaxing with waxing, and now they don't want to touch wax. And, you know, their dreads are going to take a little bit longer, and that's fine, whatever. I'm not, you know, like... You must use wax to get dreads. Obviously, that's, that's not true. The, there is definitely a disadvantage to, uh, to overdoing it, and you can avoid those disadvantages by not overdoing it. Dread wax doesn't hurt dreads. Overwaxing hurts dreads. It's like... You know, people don't kill people, guns kill people. Okay. Or guns don't kill people, people kill people. How does that go again? If you do decide to use wax, use it properly. Overwaxing is a disorder. It's like uh, overeating, you know? So, don't do that. Oh, <laughs> let's talk about some of the rumors that are related to overwaxing. Waxing, uh oh. Waxing makes your dreads look and feel waxy. Now, that's not true. But, one of the things that I like least about using wax is that even when you put the right amount in and you work it in well, you're still gonna feel it in the hair uh, for about a day or so. You're gonna feel it, you know, on your hands when you touch your hair and stuff, and that's annoying. A lot of people don't like tacky wax feeling on their dreads. And dude, I am right there with you. That's so dope. The good news is you can get around that just by putting a little bit of dread butter on the surface of the dreads. If you're going to use wax, you should have it on hand because it really makes a huge difference. Just the whole experience is going to be better, honestly. You can put it on right after you put on the wax. So the surface that you're touching, or that other people are touching, is uh, not tacky. Yeah, because you feel the dread butter and the dread butter is smooth and you don't feel the tacky wax. And it smells really freaking awesome. People who will try to be eating your dreads and stuff, you'll be like, no, don't eat my dreads. Piss off. It's like that, really. I love it. And that pretty much takes care of that. Oh, that's it for part A, man. You can go watch part B.